So then he asks me if I'm more of like a twink bottom or a femme top. And I was like, um, I'm an Aries. They say if you love someone, let them go. But I'm like, if you love someone, shouldn't you just like stay with them? Like, yeah, in high school, some of my friends did Molly and stuff, but that was only on like the weekends. I heard someone comparing the price of tuition to a Van Cleef necklace. How am I supposed to become a hot yoga instructor with my own line of maternity swimwear if I'm living with him in Minnesota? I never found it odd that I would undress all my Barbies and make them kiss. But then I got to college and I was like, oh, I'm like a full on lesbian. She was like a mother to me. The girl but on girl first. And then they all started drinking pop. And I was like, mom is on the phone. He's my dad. He's freaking out, yelling at me, saying he's going to send me back to India. I wrote this poem for her. My heart is a cage and you hold the key. Actually, I think that's all the time we have left for individual sessions. Next week, we will come in for your first group session. Group, group session? session? I love your bag. Okay, so uh, you have all completed your three free counseling sessions with your university assigned counselor. I just don't understand why the university only provided us with three free individual sessions. I'm sorry, I, I think I'm in the wrong room. Are you Ella Powell? I have it right here. You're supposed to be in this group. <laughs> Let's begin by sharing our name, pronouns, and a fun fact. Uh, I'm Nate, he, they, and I'm ambidextrous. Um, I'm Michael, and I have seven siblings. I'm Fiona. She, her, and I have eight siblings. You have eight siblings? No, I just wanted to have more than you. Um, sorry. Uh, I absorb my twin in the womb. Uh, hi. I'm Ella. I, uh, she, her, um, I don't know. Uh, one time freshman year, I dressed up as one of the guys from the Blue Men Group for Halloween, and my face was stained blue for like a week. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lily, she, her, and I am the philanthropy chair of my sorority. My name's Brody, a uh, boy, uh, and I have three fish. One is actually uh, still alive, so. With that, uh, does anyone have anything they'd like to share with the group? Uh, I guess um, I've been feeling kind of lonely. I wish that I was feeling lonely. I'm Ava, she, her, and I was first runner-up for Miss Teen Florida when I was in high school. There's this frat guy who started stalking me. I came home one morning and he was standing in my kitchen with flowers, which is sweet, but like, how did he get into my home? Oh my god, those guys are awful. No, but this other guy's even worse. He tells me how much he likes me and how he can see himself marrying me on the weekends, and then when I hook up with him, he ghosts me until the next weekend. I'm sure you deal with this kind of stuff all the time, Lily. Uh, yeah, uh, one time this guy... I mean, he... it's insane. I feel like these guys will just do anything to hook up. I guess, I mean, for me... Guys... And I try to not care about what they think about me, but, you know, it's hard. Well, it's not... Always bad to care what others think about you, Ava. Sometimes you just need to find the right person to listen to. Ava, I actually really agree with you. I care so much about what my ex thinks of me. Everything I post is for her to see. We dated for two years and then she broke up with me out of nowhere because I'm not mature enough to be in a serious relationship. And how did that make you feel? Sad. I mean, I cried once during Monopoly and now I'm acting like a child. <laughs> And she should have just let me win like all those other times. I won all those other times fair and square, so. Well, when I'm sad, I, um, I draw two eyes on my pointer finger right here. So then it's like a little friend. Hey, hey Fiona, don't forget to wash your hands. <laughs> so you could try. I can't do it. Yeah, never mind, you have like Sasquatch hands. I actually 
wrote some poetry for her today. This one's called, Come Back to Me, or I Will Be So Sad. No. No. Um, okay. I guess I'm just scared that I'll never meet someone like her who made me feel that way. You probably never will. If you could go out and find someone else that made you feel the exact same way that she did, then it wouldn't have been so special. But you will find love again, and it will be just as great, if not better. That was very moving. Um, I... I now feel compelled to share something with the group. Um, over the past year, I have become aware of my attraction to girls. That's really amazing, Fiona. Thank you, but there's more. Um, I used to think it was just like the natural progression of life. Like, spend 21 years disappointed by guys, wonder if girls would be better, and then eventually wind up unhappily married to some average guy I meet in a bar, you know, like all of our mothers did. My mother is really happily married. No, she's not. Um, but I met this girl, her name is Saturn, uh, like the planet, and she makes me feel things that I've never felt before. But now I'm questioning myself even more. I'm like, am I bisexual? Am I a lesbian? And then some days I wake up and I feel like I just made this all up so I could be more like LGBT queen Jane Lynch. Um, I think it's totally normal to ask yourself like, am I really queer or do I just want attention? But it's like, if you just wanted attention, you could just like get bangs or something, you know? It sounds like you really like this girl. Saturn, don't overthink it. I'm actually like mid-identity crisis myself now too. Yeah, okay, well, for the longest time, I was like so insecure. Um, and then recently I had this dream where Gwyneth Paltrow was my therapist and she really helped me realize some things. Like, life's too short not to be yourself or whatever. Uh, so recently I've been seeing this guy and I actually did drag for the first time. Oh my God, what's your drag name? Uh, right now I'm going with Caddy Lapone, where I do songs exclusively from cats, but if they were sung by Patty Lapone. That's so stupid, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> um, but what I found is like, finding yourself or whatever, um, that's caused me to lose some friends. Some people just can't handle your sparkle. It's just cause they're like unhappy with themselves. Yes. That's such bullshit. Ella, do you have something you want to say? Michael, do you really think I stopped talking to you because you decided to do drag? Or because you have a boyfriend now? I mean, yeah. You just seem like really uncomfortable with it or something. How could you possibly even think that? Okay, well, um... For the first time, we have a party at our apartment and I decide to bring my boyfriend. The next day, you literally move out of the apartment and basically ghost me. Oh my god, Michael, I had nothing to do with okay, you. Okay, I find that hard to believe, Ella. Because then you didn't come to my drag show, which is fine, but it's like, you didn't reply to any of my texts, so I can't help but assume- It had nothing to do with you, Michael. God, not everything is about you. Did you ever think it could be me? Like, like I have a lot going on okay, right fine, now. Okay, fine, but then why wouldn't you want to talk about it with your best friend? Because I don't know how to talk about it. With anyone, and- and I, and I shouldn't have to just to make other people feel comfortable. I mean, everyone keeps asking me what's wrong with me, and I'm like, I, I can't even, I can't even think about it without wanting to. You're just... right. I shouldn't have made you talk about it. I'm sorry. I'm always here for you, though, Ella. And I would love to have you back at the apartment. That's the thing. I. The night of the party, I was really drunk. And I was with this guy in my room. And... I get it. I'm sorry. I just couldn't go back to that apartment. I couldn't think of anything that reminded me of that night. I completely understand. I miss you, Ella. I miss you too. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> um.
Do you want to talk about it more with the group, Ella? Uh, no. I, I, I just think I need some more time before I talk about it so publicly. Or maybe I'll never want to, I don't know. I understand what you mean about having open conversations or whatever, but I don't need to relive it to heal. Or just not, not yet. Understood. Thank you for sharing, Ella. That was very brave. Does anyone else have anything else they'd like to share? Uh, Ava, I know I cut you over. Oh my god, are you seriously going back to Ava? I signed up for this group therapy session too. I am the only one who hasn't spoken yet. We only have five minutes left and I'm not staying late. I have Pilates. Yes, of course. I'm so sorry, Lily. Uh, please continue. Thank you. So basically, I thought I was going to frat date dash with this guy who I'd been seeing for a while, but I found out last week that he asked another girl, which is so annoying because he just asked me to stop seeing other guys, so I assumed we were exclusive. When a guy does something like that to me, I just move on to another one in my roster. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I'm just frustrated, Ava, because our experiences with these guys really aren't similar. I don't have a roster. I am lucky if I have one guy talking to me because, you know, they're usually only interested in... In what? Do I really need to say it? White girls, okay? These guys don't usually give me the time of day, and when they do, I am treated like some weird, over-sexualized fantasy. So yeah, I, I don't have a roster of guys dying to bring me to invite. Lily, I think you're beautiful, inside and out. I know I'm beautiful. I, I mean, sorry, sorry. Thank you, Nate. That is that is really, really nice. It's just... They say that confidence is key. But I am very confident, so what is the disconnect? Well, I In my think... experience, frat guys are like the worst people that I've ever met, and I'm from Florida. Seriously. I know that I can never fully understand what you're going through, but... If you ever want to talk, I'm always going to be here to listen. Thank you, Eva. Have you ever considered talking to a real therapist about all of this? Oh my god, not that you're, like, not a real therapist or anything. No, 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 it's, it's <laughs> okay. I understand what you mean. And you're right. I am not a real therapist. I'm a grad student. I do this on the weekends for the extra cash. Are you serious? They just stick us in a room with some underqualified grad student to talk about it. Don't our... blame me. I, I mean, I, I don't even know how I got this job, okay? I, I'm studying to become a marine biologist. You're studying to become a marine biologist? Yes. So, you're right, okay? I, I am underqualified. I mean... I signed up for work study, and this is what the university gave me. Well, uh, that's our time. I hope this was helpful to you all in some way. Okay, I'm ready. I'm Cali LuPone! <laughs> It's it's amazing. Yes, I know. I, know. <laughs> I love you, Ella. I love you too. You never get affectionate like that. Oh well, you know we could all benefit from having open and honest conversations about how we're feeling. <laughs>